I was born at Calverdale Station. I've been with my partner, Michael, since 1976. Then after I had gave birth to my older daughter, me and him moved to Dijara, and this is where we are, and we're still here today. Oh, it's good here, darling. I love it. We raised all of our kids and put them in schools and things like that. And then later on down the track, when we become our grandparents, we started looking at our grandkids. I had to take them on because my daughter passed away and um, their dad, Kenneth, had a motorbike accident in Mount Isa and he's paralyzed on one side. So he asked me, would you be able to take the kids on? And I said, yes, I will. So me and my partner has taken them then. Oh, I think I had about 30 or 40 foster kids in my care. I just thought about them and I just said like this, poor, poor kids, you know, they got nowhere to go. And I just said, oh, I'll take them in. And then, then they go back to their parents. And every time I see them anywhere, they say, hello, mama. Make you feel proud. I think when you start talking about small communities, um, everybody knows everybody else. And the way that communication tends to occur is word of mouth. So people like Barb uh, essential in these communities because they can actually um, get out and meet people tell them in advance the dental trucks coming into town the GP clinics running this week and then encourage people to come along and have this kind of long-term preventative health care measures there's no substitute for somebody actually being an advocate for the service within the community itself for my flu vaccine and the coronavirus one Ever since they got them out, I took all my kid, grandkids up there and got them all done. And I got myself done. They feel in crook. They say to me, Nan, I don't feel too good. Oh, well, I say to them, well, get ready, we'll go to the clinic. Because I know clinics is there for all of us. If they need the clinic checkup, they always come to get me. Take me up to the clinic. They usually take them up there and sit in and wait for them and talk to them and all that. I'd rather RFDS than anything else. Because if you're really crooky or need support, they there for you. I love my clinic. I'd rather be safe, me and my grandkids. I talk to other people too. And the only, only problem I used to have with young girls in town was, you know, like the, the doctors that come out and do pap smears and things like that, they get really, really shamed. And I usually say to them, you don't have to be shame, mate. You know, you've got to get done, be in the safe side. Because at the end of the day, you end up with something, it's going to be the saddest thing. Nah, I'd rather stay healthy, love, and be in the safe side and be here with the clinic and the Royal Flying Doctor Service there. I know they're there for me.